Good morning. It is Thursday, May 16th, 2024, back here for Daily Shakeup 891. And today I want to talk about a single word, and the word is have, H-A-V-E, have. I'm going to touch briefly on one side of it, and then I want to talk about a side that I don't think gets enough attention. Many of you have heard this concept before that when we say we have to do something, it's like we're being forced to, almost like we don't have a choice. And absolutely true. Using the word in that context, like I have to do this or I have to go there, that's really a victim mentality. And that's why it takes energy from us and brings us down and often causes us to miss whatever the opportunities are in that whatever the doing is, that thing we have to do. So someone created a phrase that said, I don't have to, I get to. I don't have to drive there, I get to drive there. I don't have to go on this trip, I get to go on this trip. I don't have to get up early, I get to get up early. So big fan of that, big believer in that, that that shift from get to instead of have to is the choice, empowering in choice, over have to is the victim mentality. I don't have a choice. But here's another side of it. We love to say the word have to make us feel better. And I think it tells us that we're actually going to do whatever it is or accomplish whatever it is that we have to do. So I'm encouraging us to get rid of it. So let me give you an example. We say, I have to lose weight. I have to lose 20 pounds. I have to eat healthier. I have to be more productive. I have to be more efficient. I have to go on this trip. I have to, I have to, I have to. We say that, and it, and I've said, I've challenged people. I challenged someone last night. They were saying that, and I said, well, you don't have to. It's up to you whether you choose to every day. No, no, I have to. It's just who I am. Well, but see, that's the thing. It, I think it's a trap because we end up talking ourselves into some level of confidence that we will do it because we say we have to. The reality is, and this is a little bit akin with a slightly different wording to Yoda and his wisdom that says, there is no try, there's only do. You know, when you say, I have to lose weight, that difference is you're telling yourself you have to, like you're pushing yourself. But the reality is, if you to lose weight, you choose to or not. I choose to eat healthier. I don't have to eat healthier. I choose to take better care of myself uh, as opposed to I have to. So I'm inviting us for the most part to get rid of the word have to. On that first example, it's a victim mindset. It's pretending we don't have choices and we always have choices. And what I'm talking about is that we tell, we convince ourselves that because we have to do something or have to accomplish something or have to get something done at a certain time, somehow that means we will. And I want you to think about this and be honest. How many times recently have you said have to and didn't? So let's drop the story. Let's drop this false narrative about what you have to do. You either choose to do or you choose not to do. And look in the mirror and tell the truth and make a different decision tomorrow. It's the best we can do. Have a great day.